look more professional with a customized identity plate. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in today's post-production tips, we're continuing our discussion all about Lightroom Classic, specifically how to customize our identity plate. But first, what is an identity plate? Let me show you. The identity plate for Lightroom Classic can be found here in the top left corner of the software. Right now, mine says Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic. Now this looks fine, but we can also customize it. Now, customizing our identity plate can help us look a little bit more professional if we ever have clients looking at our screen. Or maybe you have a YouTube channel and you want to use your own logo. Let me show you how. Start by right-clicking here on the identity plate and select Edit Identity Plate. This new dialog box will appear. We have a few options here. First, let's drop this down and select Adobe ID. Obviously, this is just our uh, Adobe ID name. Now let's select Lightroom Classic. As you saw before, this just says Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic. Next, we can select Personalize. Now, I thought we could all enjoy this typeface and this color scheme. I'm really sorry. Anyways, as you see here, we can type whatever we want. Let's type my name again. And I can select whatever typeface I'd like. We can also select the size of the type. Now anything above 36 is probably going to overrun. As you can see, the amount of space here at the top left is limited. So depending on the typeface, 36 is about the limit. We can also select a custom color. And we can also even customize our module buttons over here on the right. Select a different type, select the size, and we can even select the color of the active and inactive module buttons. All right, that's pretty cool. Maybe not that color combo and that typeface, but we can use our own logo. Let me show you how to do that. If we select use a graphical identity plate here, we can then select locate file. Now here's a PNG I already created. Let's select choose. And you can see the preview has updated to show that PNG. And the top left corner of my identity plate has also updated on the software. Now I can still customize my module picker buttons over here on the right. Let's leave them as they are now. Look for a link down below in the description for this video. Use it to download both a Photoshop and an Illustrator document template file. You can use this template to create your own graphical identity plate. Now if you do use this template, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thank you. Now let me show you what that template looks like. All right, here we are in Photoshop. If you'd like to make your own template, this document is 340 pixels wide by 40 pixels tall. The guide here on the left hand side is 17 pixels from the left. Now this just aligns the logo with the edge of our left panel here. Now this isn't something you have to do, but I like the way it looks when they're lined up. Now this top of the bottom guides is 28 pixels from the top. This is where my type is seated. The bottom of the bottom guides is 34 pixels from the top. And this is where my logo is seated. This just helps provide some space between the logo and the left side panel. Like you see here, see that gap? Now all we need to do is select File, Save As, and select PNG as our format. Select Save, and then select OK. Now just navigate to Lightroom, right click, and select Edit Identity Plate, and select Locate File. Now find the PNG we just created. I'm actually going to select one for the Visual Center, which I already created. Select Choose, and let Okay, there we go. The Illustrator file included in the link below also contains some guides to help you in creating your identity plate. If you do have any difficulty or have any questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.